fifth graders, this is Mrs. Lamorne again, and today we're going to be doing Unit 5, Lesson 24, Divide Decimals by Whole Numbers. Yesterday we divided whole numbers by decimals, now we're going to do decimals by whole numbers. What is the value of 42 hundredths divided by 5? What is the value of 42 hundredths divided by 5? So I would have to think of a number grid, right? My hundreds grid that I use, right? How many hundreds are in here, right? So then I would, I would shade in 42 of them. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so 42 of them, let's get my shading thing in here. Bigger, bigger thing here. There we go. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 42. 42 of those, and then I'm going to divide them in groups of five. Divide them in groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's one group. One, two, three, four, five. That's two groups. One, two, oops, let's get a different color there. Blue again. One, two, three, four, five, three groups. And I continue to do that, right? So about right would be, what if I just took the whole number, 42, and divided it by five? And remember, we're estimating. So I could say five or 40 divided by five. So I think about right would be 8. What do you think? But it wouldn't be 8 because these aren't whole numbers, are they? They're hundredths. So it would be 8 hundredths. Too low would be 1 hundredth, right? And too high would be a 1, wouldn't it, right? So if I divided 42, I can keep going. One, two, three, four, five. There's another group. So we have one, two, three, four groups. And go get blue. One, two, three, four, five. There's another group. And I kept going. I should get eight of them, shouldn't I? One, two, three, four, five. I must not be right if I'm dividing them by five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm missing a row here. It should be 10. So I should have eight groups of five in 42, right? Eight groups of five in 42. All right, let's see if they ask us any questions about that. I know five groups of eight hundredth is 40 hundredths, and that is four tenths, which is two hundredths less than 42. So I, I'm pretty sure it's eight hundredths. Why is 800 a good estimate for the value of 4200 divided by 5? Well, because 4000 is really close to 4200, right? And we divided that out. All right. Find the value of the expression uh, 8 tenths divided into 4. Okay. So again, I can get my highlighting tool out. Oops, that's not highlighting. There we go. And I can highlight 8 tenths. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's my eight tenths. And now I'm going to divide them into groups of four. So let's go back over here. One, two, three, four. That's one group of four tenths, right? And then, is that right? And there's another group of four. So how many groups of four would I have? I would have two of them. Another way to look at that, right? Eight tenths divided into fours. Yep, yeah, that's right. It would be two tenths, right? Two of them. One, two, three, four. 
So this time I put them in groups of, or four groups and each one had two tenths. So eight tenths divided by four is two tenths. So I could think of it either way. All right, find the value of the expression six tenths divided by three. Okay, I'm gonna go get my highlighting tool and this time I'm gonna highlight in blue. So six tenths would be one, two, three, four, five. There's half of it, right? Five tenths and we need a six tenths. And this time I'm going to make three groups, three groups. So let's look at that. Three groups would be how many in each group, right? So six divided by three would be two. So I would have two in each group, wouldn't I? I need another pen there. So one group, two groups, three groups, and each group has two tenths. So again, this one is two tenths. Okay, let's see what else they ask us. Okay, we have two more to do. Find the value of five tenths divided by two. Five tenths divided by two. So again, five tenths, I'm gonna color in. Let's get a let's get a better color than that. So one, two, I'd go all the way to half, wouldn't I? Three, four, five. There's my five tenths, and I want two groups of that. So two groups of that, I'm gonna have to do some finagling. So how, if that's 50 little squares, right? There are 50 little squares, and I have to divide 50 by 2, what would that be? That's 25, isn't it? I could split it right here, and then I could find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know length times width, so there's 25 hundredths here and 25 hundredths over here. So the value of 50 hundredths, or 5 tenths divided by two would be 25 hundredths. Okay, this time I'm going to do 75 hundredths divided by five. Okay, so let's get our highlighter tool again. 75, so that's, I didn't get the yellow. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 70, right, of my 75. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then I have five left to get. So there's my five. Now I'm going to put that into groups of five. Or how many groups of five would be in 75? So again, I could go over here and divide 75. Five goes into 75 how many times? Well, it goes in one into seven with 25 left over. And I know that five times five is 25. And I could check my work by saying 15 times five. Oh, my pen is not working out today. Let's try that again. 15 times 5, there it goes, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 75. So I would have 15 hundredths, right, or 15 groups, yes, 15 hundredths. So the answer will be 15 hundredths. So I'm dividing it into groups, or 5 groups, so there'd be 15 in each, so this would be Two, three, four, five. This is five. Here we go. That's 15. One, two, three, four, five. So here's another. 10 plus five is 15. So then another. 10 plus five is 15. And another. One, two. Right? Get a, a, a pink color there. 5 plus 10 is 15, so there's another group, and there's another group of 5 of 15. So this is 15 hundredths, and I have how many groups of that? 5. I divided it into 5 groups. 
And in each group, I had 15 hundredths. All right, let's move on. How does thinking about hundredths helps you to find the value of this expression? Well, remember when we did this one, I had to think about um, 50 instead of 5, right? So I had to divide this, I had to think about it as 50 divided by 2, right? 50. Since there is 5 tenths is 50 hundredths, I can find half of that, which is half of 50 is 25 hundredths. So that's how I thought about it. How does thinking about how does thinking about equal shares help you to find the value of this expression? Again, if I have 75 things and I'm putting them into five groups, um, I can think about this division problem, but remembering that this is hundredths, not a whole number. So the answer is going to be in hundredths. And we remember we did 15 hundredths. We could also think of it as five groups of 10 with 25 left. So that's five more groups. So there's 75 is, so 75 is five groups of 15 and 75 hundredths is five groups of 15 hundredths. So we can think about it that way as well. All right, so now we're gonna practice this some more. And I don't want to have to draw a number grid each time. So we can think about it as whole numbers, right? Just like we did when we were multiplying. So what is 60 divided by 5? Well, I know my number, my multiplication facts. I can go over here and actually divide it, but I know that the answer is going to be 12, right? 12. So 60 divided by 5 is 12. So 6 divided by 5 is going to be 1 and 2 tenths. And 6 tenths divided by 5 is going to be 12 hundredths. How did I know that? 6 is the same as 60 tenths. So I, I could think of it as 6.0, right? 60 tenths. And then divide that into group 5 groups. And I knew that there were going to be 12 or one and two tenths in that. The same thing with the hundredths. Six tenths is the same as 60 hundredths, so this is the 12 hundredths or 12 hundredths. All right, same thing for the bottom. Let's do the same thing for the bottom. I can notice these things up here. So if I did seven tenths divided by two, I can think of that as 70, right? And what would that be? Well, let's rewrite that so you can see what I'm thinking here. 2 goes into 7 three times with 10 left over. All right. So it's not going to, it's 7 tenths, right? So it's not going to be 35. It's going to be what? 35 hundredths. Because I took 70 hundredths and divided it. I can do the same thing for this one. How many fives are in 45? Well, we already know that math fact is 9. So is it going to be 9 as a whole number or 9 hundredths? It's going to be 9 hundredths. 45 is 5 groups of 9. They're, these are all hundredths, so that's 9 hundredths. How did thinking 7 tenths and 45 hundredths as hundredths help us. Remember, we took seven hundredths and made, I mean, seven tenths and made it 70 hundredths, and that helped us to divide, didn't it? And we could use, yes, we could use diagrams, but it would be really hard, wouldn't it? I can think about the whole number division. I have 70 hundredths, and splitting that in half would give me 35 hundredths, or I have 45 hundredths. And that's five equal groups of nine hundredths. We could use a diagram. I could shade seven tenths in a hundredths grid and then cut that in half. And I can, I think I see five groups of nine hundredths in 45 hundredths. Might be challenging, but I could do it. 
Today we divided decimals by whole numbers. To describe, how, describe to your partner how you would find the value of this expression. Well, again, I would think of this as 2 into 90, or 90 divided by 2, right? Not 9 tenths, but 90 hundredths. And 2 goes into 9 four times with one left over, so 5, so it would be 45, and I could think about that as 45 hundredths, right? Because I started out with 9. I could also check my work by saying 45 hundredths times 2, 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9, and remember that I have to have, I started out with hundredths, so I have to multiply this times 1 hundredth, and so that's going to be 90 hundredths or 9 tenths, which is all the same thing. So I can always check it out with multiplication. Okay, let's get to the cool down and see if we can do this on our own. All right, here's our cool down. Get a pen here. Remember, I could draw this out in grids, or I could think that this is going to be 3 on the outside. Let me write that a little bit lower so, you, so I can show my work. So I'm going to think of this as 90 hundredths, 90 hundredths divided by 3. 3 goes into 9, 3 times, 3 times 3 is 9. So would that be 3 hundredths or 3 tenths? I think it's going to be 3 tenths. I don't think I had to change that one to 9. So this one's going to be because I'm still at tenths, right? So I can write this as 3 tenths. Let's check that out with multiplication. 3 times 3 is 9, and then multiply that times 1 tenth, and yes, that's 9 tenths. So we did that right. This one's going to be 3 hundredths, right? Because we're in the hundredths now. So let's write it as a hundredth. I don't even have to multiply that out or divide that out again. All right, so now we have 80 or 8 tenths divided by 5, so I could write that as 80 hundredths divided by 5. 5 goes into 8 one time with 30 left over, and I know that 5 times 6 is 30. So I got the answer of 16, but it's going to be 16 hundredths, isn't it? Right? Because I started with 80 hundredths, it's going to be 16 hundredths. There are 80 hundredths, so that's five groups of 16 hundredths. And I could multiply that out, again, to check my work. 16 times 5, 5 times 1 plus 3 is 8. And then I'm going to multiply that times a tenth, or a hundredth, because this, I'm, I'm looking at this one, 16 hundredths, right? So I'm going to multiply that times one hundredth, so that means it's going to be eight, 80 hundredths. All right. Good thinking there, boys and girls. Thank you for watching Lesson 24, and I'll see you next time for Lesson 25. A last lesson for Unit 5.